And I want my face beat so I can get out the house. Because nine times out of ten, I'm running late. <laughs> I've never met anyone quite like her before. Hey everybody, welcome back to Andy Land. It's your girl, Andy. And today, I am doing this cute little peak, little cut crease. And we're trying out the new one size ultra pink setting powder. I mean, y'all can see it on me right now. But if y'all want to know my thoughts, y'all gotta watch the video. You know what I'm saying? Watch it, watch it and subscribe because I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers and you know I appreciate my supporters so I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get this video started <laughs> okay y'all as I said I'm still working on my lighting so ignore that but I wanted to do like a fun pink look today and I wanted to try the new one size ultra pink so we're gonna be doing for that today so my powder routine from my last video my summer routine might not be the same just because I really want to see how this powder looks and y'all know I love one size anyway so that's on that so brows are already done I'm gonna conceal them <laughs> I'm gonna conceal them with my Dior backstage concealer this is the shade 5w and then this is just an angle um, brow brush that I got from um, Amazon. They came in like a pack of like 30. I usually don't do this on camera. I don't even know why I did it, but I'm gonna blend this out using my Morphe M173 brush. First off, my skin is skinny, y'all see? Mm. But anyway, on the eyelids, we're taking my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Tan Latte to prep my eyes. Because I'm feeling pinky. You know, Barbie comes out this weekend. So it's going to be after out after Barbie come out. But I'm also doing a Barbie Get Ready With Me. I'm just in a pinky mood. I'm getting my nails done today. I feel like I'm gonna go get pink. Which is why I'm getting dressed, cause I'm like I'm going to go get my nails done. Might as well dress up. You know what I'm saying? Using that same concealer brush that I used to blend out the Morphe M173, and I'm just gonna pat this all over my lid. Okay, so I'm not gonna really use like eyeshadow eyeshadow today. I feel like I'm gonna use bronzer and blush because the pink I want, I can find it in my blush and I have to go 50 million places. So I'm taking this Morphe 321 brush. And I'm going in with the shade Trailblazer. Um, I kind of want to do like a cut crease y look. So I'm going to kind of just. I'll bring y'all in close. But I'm kind of just outlining how I want my crease to look and blending this up to my brow. I'm using a smaller brush so I can have more control over the placement of this brow. I don't want a full cut crease, so I am going to cut it off at the end. Okay, not me lying to y'all. I am going to go into my Makeup by Mario palette because I just, I knew I needed to deepen this up. I don't know why, who I was playing with. I'm going to clean off my brush. I got a little towel down here. And I'm going to go into this dark brown right here and very gently just deepen up the crease a little bit need a little bit of dimension before i go ahead and uh pop this pink on take your time i'm doing this so i don't have to like cut cut my crease <laughs> so usually i wouldn't i would have just done this blend it out with a fluffy brush and then cut my crease after but i don't really feel like doing that you know what i'm saying Yeah, I like that a lot more. But you see how it like blends into that first brown that we put down? So it's like one braid. I'm so good. It's ombre. So it's not like a super just harsh brown line. 
Okay, we're about to use a product I have not used in a long time, but it's an oldie but goodie, the NYX Glitter Primer. I'm gonna use this to quote unquote cut my crease. Um, it just helps my pigments, shimmers, all that pop that much more. So I put a little bit on the back of my hands. I need a flat brush. All right, so I got this flat Anjou brush and I'm just gonna take this and place it all over my lip space because my crease is kind of already cut, you know what I'm saying? I just want that pink to shine through. So I'm patting this one. All right, I'm going to use my Jimmy's oh, Place Blush Duo. This is volume four, so it's the two bright, bright pinks. I don't even know which pink I want to use for a fro. I think I'm just going to use the one at the top and just, you know, make it. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to use the one at the bottom. I want a really light pink today. I don't know. If I feel like, I'll darken it up. And I was going to use this brush, but I can't remember what side I used. So I have this denser shadow brush from BH Cosmetics. I got it in a set. And I'm just going to take that light pink and press it in to my lid. Oh, that is so pretty. Tell me that I'm pretty. And I'm gonna go back in with that first brush in my trailblazer shade and we're just gonna blend. Okay, so shadow's basically done. I'm going to do a little something underneath, but we got to, you know, go through the whole face. So I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara, and this shit is the truth. And we're going to coat my lashes because I want to put my liner on before I do my face. I want to do a brown liner. So I have a new um, KBD tattoo liner. This is um mad max brown and i just got it um from Ulta. Uh, i mean dropping stuff again but it's so cute so this is the mini size i was going to show y'all comparison to my full size but i don't know where i put it oh here we go so i have the full size in black so you know keep in your purse but we're going to do this wing and i'm going to attempt to do it on camera for y'all but I make no promises. <laughs> okay, so liner's done. This one's a little thick, thick, but to be honest, I really don't care. <laughs> I really don't. All right, so primer in the face. We're going in with the one size of Carter Blur. Hopefully this comes out this time because last time I was trying to act like it didn't want to come out. And just massaging that in. Okay, and then as always, I take my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is the one that has niacinamide in it, the pinky orangey one, whatever color that is. And I just put this on the perimeter, my lash lines, and, I, excuse me, ooh, and under my eyes. We're gonna set this with the Makeup Forever HD powder. This is in the shade Golden Beige. Cause baby, what I don't need is to be all sad melting off. Set your primers, y'all. Oily people. I'm using a real technique setting brush, and we're just gonna press that in my T-zone and on my lash lines. I always wanna press it on your lash lines too, because that'll help set them in place. So if you get real severe lash lines, set your lash lines before you put on foundation. I'm gonna spray my face with the Milk Hydro Setting Spray. 
because locking in the face is a must. Especially me not doing my new powder thing today. We're just gonna fan that dry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we're gonna use my NARS um, soft matte foundation. This is in the shade Macau. Cause I just feel like I know I wanna use Dior when I um, do my Barbie look. And I'm trying to show y'all different matte options. So we're just gonna take A little bit. Oh my god, that was a lot. Oops. Oh my god. Okay. Oh wow, that was definitely too much. <laughs> I'm gonna blend this out real quick with the Morphe E63 brush. That was a lot. <laughs> Now, this foundation is a little light because I did get a little bit of a tan, but I didn't feel like mixing today. I'm being real lazy. <laughs> the fact that I did an eye look today is already a lot. All right, I'm going to use my damp Sonia Kashuk sponge. It's damp, not wet. I'm just going to make sure I press this in even more. I'm gonna spray my face again with the Milk Hydro. And press them in. All right, so the first concealer I'm going in with is my Dior Backstage, as always, shade 5W. I'm gonna conceal under the eye, around my mouth, and then anywhere else, I might have some darkness, which this foundation does a pretty good job of covering everything, so. I'm gonna use my It's My Ray Ray MBH Cosmetics Collab Setting Brush and just pat this in. If you don't have a lot of control over your brush, Feel free to use a sponge, especially to get by your wing. This is usually why I do my wing after, just because I'm not trying to be super careful, to be honest. Like, I be trying to go. You know what I'm saying? I want my face beat so I can get out the house, because nine times out of ten, I'm running late. <laughs> like, my skin is skinning right now. Let me give y'all a little tip. Skincare is just as important to makeup as it is to just bare face. If you ain't taking care of your skin, your makeup gonna look like shit. Yes, I know I owe y'all a skincare video. I am aware. I apologize. It's coming. I'm gonna probably do my braids first so I can just throw my hair up because this wigs and skincare is... <laughs> I'm trying to be cute still when I record. So we're about to do an ombre concealer because I kind of want the rosiness of the cheeks. I'm feeling real pinky. But before, I'm gonna let my two concealers, the light concealers set, not set, sit first before I put the blush on. Cause I feel like when I do the ombre, I put everything on, my blush dries down way faster than my concealers do and then I'm gonna have an issue. So I'm gonna use the Lancome Tit Idol Ultra Wear Concealer. This is in Neutral Bisque, I believe. And I'm gonna put this right in my inner, inner corner. Cause I want that bright, bright eye today. All right, and then my handy dandy, trusty old goody, the Huda Beauty Faux Filter in Caramel Corn. Caramel Corn. Y'all say caramel or car caramel? Caramel? Car How y'all say caramel? I say caramel, I don't say caramel. I feel like that's just weird. All right, I'm gonna place this right here. And we're gonna let that sit before we use our blushes. Cause I got a contour. Y'all know what I'm using. The Juvia's Place Foundation Stick in the shade Katsina. 
I feel like I don't use anything else besides this. Oh my God, why is my camera overheating? So I'm gonna put that on my cheekbones and on my jawline. I don't really cream contour my nose anymore. Like, I feel like it's unnecessary. I'm using my mob buffing brush and I'm just gonna pet this in. Just gonna pet this in. And then I push on my cheeks, I push it a little up. If you feel like you need more, you need to go on with more, do that. But you see how just gorge that is? My concealer should have dried down a bit by now, so we're gonna use two um, blushes. The first is the Juvia's Place blush, this is Rosy Posy, and then this one is the Rare Beauty blush and Lucky. Like I said, people can choose one or the other, I'm gonna be using them both really don't got a problem with it. I'm gonna take the lighter one first. That was probably a lot. <laughs> no, that was a lot. Let me not even say probably. And then the darker one on the outside. This was bad. <laughs> this was real bad. All right, we're gonna blend out the concealer first. I'm gonna be using my concealer brush. And we're just gonna start with the lightest shade and then make my way to the darker one. All right, then to blend out the rest, I'm gonna use my Morphe M36 brush. But y'all see how it's just kind of like ombre? Yes, it is a little dark, so I'm going to go on top of this with my sponge. Just to make sure it's nice and evenly blended, especially out here underneath my, uh, my eyeliner. I feel like I might need more concealer. Where did I put my long comb? I'm not, uh, <laughs> try in front of me. I might just need a tad bit more of the long comb. I feel like it didn't sit long enough, which is crazy because my camera did. But to set today, we're gonna be using the One Size Ultra Pink um, powder. I am very excited to try this powder. I haven't really seen it on a lot of people of color for a very specific reason. Pink can tend to make you look ashy. So hopefully I'm trusting Patrick and all his starness that this will not make me look as she will actually like super bright because I do want a super bright under eye today. So like this is the perfect time to try that. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause translucent is great. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He came up with a yellow one too, but like I have tons of yellow powders. I don't have as tons of pink powders. Pray for me. <laughs> All right, let me blend this out. <laughs> I want to show y'all this powder. It is massively pink. Like, it's mad pink. Y'all see how pink that is? Making sure your under eye is blended first. Because the last thing you need is to be set in creases. I know I done blended this like 10 times. I'm just mad scared. <laughs> All right, I'm taking a powder puff I got from Amazon. We're just gonna dive straight in. I'm just pressing that in. Love how it set the blush. Oh, I like that. I was real scared, but y'all see that? Y'all see how smooth my under eye is? 
All right. Pink powder. So far, so good. Because I thought it was going to look like super ashy. Well, I didn't think because that just started. Like, let's be real. But I was scared that it would come off super ashy. And it's giving me pink without, like, giving me punk. I like it. <sighs> We're going to set my face, keep it in the one size family with the one size um, turn with the base foundation powder. Um, this is dark 4G. I'm taking my big fluffy powder brush. I'm just gonna set my entire face. I'm not gonna go too much over my highlighter area because I kinda wanna keep that pink brightness. All right, yeah, we're gonna use that same pink powder to bake. Cause I just, I'm, I'm absolutely like really loving how this looks. All right, since my camera's overheating, I'm gonna go put my lashes on and be right back. <laughs> um, I just used my Amazon lashes. They're on our last leg cause they was definitely trying to fall apart, but I had already put one on, so we here. But this is gonna be the last time y'all see these ones. <clears throat> All right, two bronze, we're gonna use the Morphe um, Glamour Bronze Bronzer in the shade Trailblazer, and I'm using my Japanese angled brush, and we're just gonna pat this in. All right. And then I'm gonna use my Oliver Shadow Brush from Sephora and chisel out my nose. And I'm also going to use this bronzer and that first brush we used, the Morphe M321 brush, and put it on my bottom lash line to smoke that out. And then for blush, we're going in with that same blush I used on my toys. I'm going to take the light one. I like I'm gonna take the dark one because I feel like I don't want the light one unless I need it. Cause my blush, I mean the powder we use is pink. You know what I'm saying? So taking this. I'm taking it a little bit under the eye too. For lips, I'm going in with the rare beauty pencil. What shade was this? This was gifted. This is the kind words pencil. Cause I kind of want a lighter lip. Okay, I'm gonna take um, the Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Nubian Sand and put that in the middle. I was looking for chic, but I can't find it. All right, we're gonna top this with a gloss, but after I finish, my face <laughs> we can dust this powder off now i'm taking my foundation powder brush with no extra product oh i'm supposed to put mascara on face is facing um we're gonna spray actually i'm gonna pat my nose down a little bit I feel like I look a little, a little harsh. Might just be me. Y'all may not see her. I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Spray. Spray my face. And then taking that concealer brush and just patting it. Okay, and then we're gonna take my broken Rare Beauty highlighter in this shade Flaunt. I gotta open this so carefully because my heart is so broken over this. <laughs> like, so broken. I'm gonna take this angled um, BH Cosmetics, not angled, this little pencil brush from BH Cosmetics. 
And we're gonna do the bridge of my nose. In the tip. So basically I made it look a little exclamation point. And I actually wanna take some to my inner corner. Oh Jesus. I gotta be so careful with it because I'm gonna spill it everywhere. <laughs> But then I'm gonna take my um, sponge and just gonna press my nose, highlight in. Cause I like it to look like it's coming from within rather than like somebody threw something in my face. We're going to do my um, double baking. So we're gonna use the translucent powder this time from one size. And I got my setting brush from Real Techniques and I'm gonna do my baking of the right under my eye. So I'm gonna do my faux freckles um, using the KVD tattoo liner, but I'm gonna use black. And just go over my real beauty marks. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my hella thick mascara and do these lower lashes like I've been doing because honey. Oh, my battery's dying. Okay. I should have been charging it. Alright, let me change my battery <laughs> before we move on. So um new battery and new fancy gloss bomb. So this Not the wrong glass bomb, yeah. It's okay. Oh my god. I'm so upset right now because I did not mean to buy this. <laughs> Reading is fundamental, kids, because I really, oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, we're going to use the Fenty Gloss Bomb Cream and Fenty Glow. I'm just going to put that in the middle of my lips. Uh. We're gonna top this with my clear gloss, my hydrating lip oil from Movie Kisses. Oh my god, I cannot believe this one's running out. I really wanted the like original Fenty Glow. And we're going to dust this powder off now while patting in my whole entire face. We're going to spray with the Charlotte Tilbury spray. And we're gonna fan this dry. Oh, my face is glowing, y'all. Uh, but I gotta go. I got like 10 minutes to be out of here. <laughs> and then we're gonna go on top of this with the one size until dawn setting spray. So this gonna lock everything in. All right, I'm gonna go put my clothes on and be right back because I'm about to go get my nails did. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is my completed look. I feel like I really love that pink powder. Like it really just brightened up and then with the pink blush, I feel like it just enhanced it like that much more. You know what I'm saying? Like, can y'all see it? But, um, yeah, so I'm really feeling this look. If you guys like this video, please make sure you give me a big, huge thumbs up. And leave me a comment down below if there's any other things you want me to try. Um, if you've tried the 
one size pink powder let me know as well let me know what you think because i think it's a keeper you know what i'm saying um anyway if you haven't already subscribe to your girl's channel help me on my road to a thousand thank you guys so much for watching this video and i can't wait to see you guys in my next one Bye.